Hi, this is Adam, and um, <clears throat> a message to people who think that, um, you know, COVID is not that dangerous, even though I probably said that before, but I know three people my age um, that are young and healthy who were unvaccinated that ended up in the hospital with COVID. Um, one was serious. He was in the hospital for two or th two weeks almost. Um, we gave him monoclonal antibodies eventually, and he he got better. But his hospital bills were outrageous. Um, and he was healthy just like me, you know. Um, my message is talk to your doctor um, about if you should get vaccinated or not. If you have not gotten COVID and recovered from it yet. Talk to your doctor about it. Um, I mean, look at me. I, I got vaccinated, you know, over seven months ago. Do you see anything that's wrong with me? Do you see anything bad with me? You know, I just went to got a physical. Everything seems fine. Um, you know, uh, I everything's fine with me, you know. Um, Test my antibody levels, still have antibodies uh, from the vaccine. Um, so this is a, a thing. I'm not saying mandate it. I'm not saying force people to do it. I'm just saying just talk to your doctor. And, um, you know, make sure that you're, you know, you have good sound evidence. Um, don't believe everything you hear on the internet or on Facebook with the regards to it, um, the chances that you would get inflammation, heart inflammation from the vaccine is uh, very low versus the, the chances of you getting heart inflammation from a serious COVID infection is actually a lot higher than from any of the vaccines that are out there. Um, I understand that people have had issues with the vaccine, you know, certain people have had severe reactions, but those reactions are very rare. And even the, the CDC says, hey, if you've gotten a severe reaction from one of the vaccines, you know, go get another one, you know, get Johnson and Johnson or something. Get the, if you've gotten a severe reaction from um, Pfizer or Moderna. Um, anyway, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I am very, uh, after seeing those people in the hospital, um, and know and know and knowing there was a couple of people that died, but they were in their late sixties and seventies uh, um, who were unvaccinated with COVID. Um, that's different than people who are. I mean, I know that's wrong for me to say this, but that's different than people who are my age, twenties, thirties that are in the hospital with COVID because supposedly that's not supposed to happen, but it does happen. And um, people need to be aware of it. People know uh, need to know that COVID's going to be here for a, a while. It's it's not going away. So um, talk to your doctor about getting vaccinated, and um, don't believe in any of this other stuff on the internet about um, um, ivermectin or um, you know, I mean, yeah, get your vitamin D's up, vi vitamin D levels up, and um, exercise. Try to exercise as much as possible and eat healthier. But, I mean, if you're overweight or obese, which is 75% of Americans, I mean, it doesn't matter if you exercise today or tomorrow. If you're, if you got that, if you're uh, obese and uh, the virus hits you, I mean, you, you are in deep trouble, um, statistically speaking. So, um, it's better to be vaccinated and just, um, just in case. Okay. So the vaccine doesn't stop you from getting COVID. doesn't stop you from spreading it, but it can greatly reduce the chances of you getting, uh, going to the hospital or death. And that's a fact. So, uh, I'm trying to do this, uh, PSA just cause, um, you know, I've done another piece, you know, PSAs before, but you know, this is a not. Uh, propaganda. I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm not getting paid by Big Pharma or whatever to do this. Um, so anyway, bye.